Assalamu alaikum. My name is Sanya Lani and role number is EP1770138. Topic of our group presentation is hematological malignancies and my sub topic is acute myeloid leukemia. Before going to case study, first I give some introduction about acute leukemia and hemopoietic stem cells, etc. Hemopoietic stem cell is differentiated into myeloid stem cell or a lymphoid stem cell. And sometimes we just call these precursor cell blasts. Myeloid stem cell is further differentiated into RBCs, monocytes, granulocytes, megakatocytes, while lymphoid stem cell is differentiated into B cells and T cells. These process of the hemopoietic stem cells are usually happening all the time and new cells are always being created. But in acute leukemia, they lose this ability to differentiate or mature into one of these cells. For example, they might get to the myeloid stem cells but can't differentiate it any further. And when they can't go anywhere, they start to build up. Since this all happening in your bone marrow, this build up will also happen in your bone marrow. Normal percentage of blast is 0% or 1 to 2%. While in acute leukemia, it, the percentage is in greater than 20%. When all these blast cells start to build up, they get crowded and they crowd out in the way of the normal cell differentiating. So what happens is you end up presenting with loss of the cells that you had normally produced in bone marrow. Like if you had a loss of red blood cells, you develop anemia where you might have symptoms of fatigue or maybe you are missing platelets so you get thrombocytopenia and have problem with bleeding or neutrophils and neutropenia and start getting more infection. Symptoms like this come about relatively quickly, which is why we say that it is acute leukemia. Now, what is acute myeloid leukemia or AML? AML is a blood cancer. It happens when young abnormal white blood cells called blast, as already discussed. In previous slides begin to fill up the bone marrow preventing the normal blood production normal blood production means rbc's platelet wbc's doctors diagnose aml when 20 out of every 100 white blood cells in the bone marrow is a blast cells aml is the most common acute leukemia affecting adults with about 20,000 new cases diagnosed each year when people have AML, blasts make copies of the themselves quickly as we discussed previously. Okay, why we say that this acute because quickly form blast cells. This slows the production of the red blood cells and platelets. This production is platelets ki, ki wajah se anemia, hoga, thrombocytopenia, hoga, fatigue, infections. AML is also known as acute myelogenous leukemia, acute myeloblastic leukemia and acute non-lymphocytic leukemia. Now this is the classification of the AML according to the FAB. MO is undifferentiated acute myeloblastic leukemia. M1 is acute myeloblastic leukemia with minimal maturation. M2 is the acute myeloblastic leukemia with maturation. M3 is the acute my promyelocytic leukemia APL. M4 is the acute myelomonocytic leukemia. M4 is acute myelomonocytic leukemia with isnophilia. M5 is the acute monocytic leukemia, M6 is the acute erythroid leukemia, M7 is the acute megakaryoplastic leukemia. Now what is the causes of the AML? First cause is the age. Just as the age increases, the chances of the AML is also increases. The next one is the gender. High risk in men than in women. Exposure to cancer treatment. If you have a cancer Quick cancer treatment chalrao, like you receive the chemotherapy or radiation for the management of cancer to increase the risk of the AML. Exposure to the radiations, koi radiation se exposure se. high level of radiations may lead to abnormal change in the bone marrow and trigger the development of the AML. Pre-existing blood disorder, Mala, okay, pehle se koi blood disorder aapke paas hai, like myelofibrosis, myelodysplasia, polycythemia next one is the exposure to the certain chemical like benzene can increase the chances of the development APL smoking smoking is associated with more than 15 types of the cancer including leukemia 
a large one is the genetic disorder the risk of the aml is more in patient with genetic disease such as down syndrome next symptoms of the aml the most common symptoms is the fever anemia repeated infections fatigue pale skin difficulty in breathing pain in the bones tendency for bruising and unusual bleeding bleeding hogi kyunki platelet counts kya ho gaya decrease ho gaya hai bleeding from the nose or gums further more more serious symptoms can include the bleeding in the brain or lung serious infection caused by too few white cells called neutrophils next how do you diagnose am first of all physical examination and history of the patient the next one is the blood test a complete blood count with a differential that looks at the total number and type of the blood cells in the blood a blood smear that allows a doctor to look at the blood under a microscope the next is the bone marrow aspiration and biopsy are used to see how the bone marrow looks under a microscope and how many glass cells are present the last is the cytogenetic testing and molecular genetic testing that looks at abnormalities in the leukemia cell dna <clears throat> now treatment of the aml first line treatment is the chemotherapy or other drug therapies people with aml usually start chemotherapy some of the drugs most commonly used is ludocytrabine and anthracycline the next is a stem cell transplantation may be used after chemotherapy as a second phase of the treatment and may provide an opportunity for a cure the last is the clinical trials can involve therapy with new drugs and a new drug combination to increase the chance of the first remission or new approaches to stem cell transplantation other consideration that may impact the treatment include मीन्स अगर कोई चाइल्ड है तो उसके लिए ट्रीटमेंट स्ट्रेटजीज अलग होंगी और अगर कोई ओल्डर पेशेंट है ओल्डर दैन सेवेंटी तो उसके लिए हम लोग को कोमोबिटीज भी देखनी पड़ेगी सारी तो इसके लिए पेशेंट की गोल थेरेपी अलग होगी लास्ट पॉइंट इज द इफ द कैंसर हैज रिटर्न और लैब्स और इज स्टिल प्रेजेंट आफ्टर द पेशेंट फिनिश द स्टैंडर्ड थेरेपी रिफ्रैक्टिव लुकीमिया there may be different approach to treatment than the first time around case studies the main topic of our presentation is the case study a 35 year old woman presenting to the emergency department with increasing fatigue and fever first is the fatigue and fever which is the main symptoms of the aml This past week, a peripheral blood smear, complete blood count, reveal a white blood cell count of 80,000. मतलब so, के WBC is also high amount. With a differential of greater than 90 percent leukemic cluster, metacrit of the 31 percent, a bone marrow spiral biopsy confirmed the diagnosis diagnosis of the AML. 60 percent blood. Last, all serum chemistry values are within the normal limits, with the exception of the potassium, phosphorus, lactate dehydrogenase. Physical examination was unremarkable except for the peri-rectal cellulitis. Peri-rectal cellulitis is the infection, which is also the symptoms of the AML. What is the goal of the treatment, and what type of therapy is indicated for the treatment at this time? We prepare the soap note. Subjective. Me, we look at the name, age, thirty-five years, sex, females, chief complaint, increasing fatigue and fever. Objective. Vitals. WBC eighty thousand is a high amount of the WBC. Hematocrit thirty-one percent. Platelet count is forty-six thousand plus sixty percent. Potassium three point two, phosphorus five point five, LDH is three thousand. Assessment: PM symptoms of the increasing fatigue and fever one week duration is consistent with rapid reduction in RBC lead to anemia and a low neutrophil count leading to infection. Means, उसकी जो हम लोग का पहला symptoms था fatigue and fever, 
जो हम लोग इंडिकेशन दे रहे थे ए एम एल है एक दूसरा सिम्टम्स क्या है रैपिड रिडक्शन इन आर बी सीज जिसकी वजह से एनीमिया भी हो रहा है हमें और लो न्यूट्रिकल काउंट लीडिंग टू इन्फेक्शन इन्फेक्शन हो रहा है पैरी रेक्टल सेलिलाइटस ऑल तो हर डब्ल्यू बी सी काउंट इज हाई लैक्टेड काउंट इज ऑल्सो लो विद लीडिंग टू ब्लीडिंग कलेक्टिवली हम लोग ने इससे क्या किया कि ये सब इसके साइन एंड सिम्टम्स हैं एक्यूट लिकीमिया के और डायग्नोज बायोप्सी वगैरह एक्टेक्स को क्या बता रही थी हमें और डायग्नोज ऑफ द एक्यूट मैडोल लिकीमिया इज मेज नाउ प्लान एज वी ऑलरेडी डिस्कस इंडक्शन केमोथेरेपी इंक्लूड एंड एंथ्रासाइक्लिन एंड एंटी मैटोलाइट एंथ्रासाइक्लिन वी यूज हेयर रेजिमेन एडेरोबिसिन एंड सेट्रा भी एडेरोबिसिन इज एंथ्रासाइक्लिन विच डोज इज ट्वेल्व एम जी पर डे डे वन टू थ्री आई वी बोलिस इंजेक्शन साइट्राबिन इज एंटी मेटोबाइट हंड्रेड एम जी पर डे डे वन टू सेवन आई पी इंजेक्शन दिस कम्बिनेशन सेवन प्लस थ्री सेवन मीन्स साइट्राबिन सेवन डेज एडेरोबिसिन थ्री डेज इज वन ऑफ द मोस्ट सक्सेसफुल कीमोथेरेपी रेजिमेंट यूज टू ट्रीट द ए एम एल विथ कम्प्लीट रिस्पॉन्स ई आर रेट ऑफ सिक्सटी परसेंट टू एटी परसेंट एडिशन ऑफ द एटोसाइड फॉर सेवन डेज में इंक्रीज द सी आर रेड अगर हम लोग को सी आर रेड और इंक्रीज करना है तो हम लोग एड कर देंगे एटोपोसाइड वन मोर कंडीशन इज हेयर इफ द पेशेंट विद अ वेरी हाई डब्ल्यू बी सी काउंट बहुत ज़्यादा डब्ल्यू बी सी काउंट बहुत ज़्यादा है ही और शी मे एक्सपीरियंस कम्प्लिकेशन एसोसिएटेड विद हाइपर विस्कोसिटी ऑफ द ब्लड एग्जाम्पल स्ट्रोक ब्लाइंडनेस बिकॉज इट मे टेक सेवरल डेज फॉर साइक्रोबीन एंड इडेरोबीसिन टू डिक्रीज द डब्ल्यू बी सी जो हम रेजिमेंट दे रहे हैं उसको थोड़ा डिले करेगा वो डिक्रीज करेगा डब्ल्यू बी सी काउंट करने में थोड़ा उसको डेज चाहिए तो उसकी ट्रीटमेंट बहुत डिले है इन दिस कंडीशन वी गिव हाइड्रोक्सी यूरिया टू 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 फोर ग्राम पर ओरल टू रिड्यूस द डब्ल्यू बी सी काउंट थैंक यू